Hey there, today we're going to teach you how to soap. Are you talking like shower soap because at least I've got that one down? Um, no. Thank goodness. Can you tell us what is soap? Well, I don't know if you noticed, but reading the Bible can be difficult and confusing at times. It can be hard to work out how it applies to my life. Soap is a framework that can help you or a group of people read the Bible and gain some insight and apply it to your life. So SOAP is an acronym, right? Yep, that's right. So we're going to start with the first one, S, which stands for Scripture. Scripture is just another word for the Bible. In this, you read a chapter or two, or a story or a passage, then you take note of what verse or phrase or sentence stands out to you. If you were writing it, you would write it in a journal and, and put it down there. Right, so this morning I prepared one in advance for this and I actually read Matthew 8, 23 to 27. And in this passage, Jesus and his followers, the disciples, are in a boat after a hard day's work. Jesus is so tired, he's asleep in the boat. And then this massive storm rolls in and the seas go nuts. Jesus' followers are freaking out as the waves are washing over the boat. They're wondering, how will we survive this storm? So they go and wake this guy Jesus up and say, save us, we're going to drown. And Jesus replies, why are you afraid? You have little faith. And then he tells the wind and the waves to be still and they were. They're like, who is this guy? So the scripture that I wrote down for this is verse 25. And it says, the disciples went and woke Jesus up shouting, Lord, save us, we're going to drown. Well, that brings us to the next letter, O, which stands for observation. What about that verse or verses stood out to you? What about this passage did you observe? Good questions to ask in this is, what does this passage tell me about God? And what does this passage tell me about humanity. So in my passage, the observation that I wrote down is this. The disciples were in the middle of a big storm. They were freaking out. They were scared for their lives. They didn't know what to do, but they know, knew who to go to. They felt like the seas were overwhelming them. And when they felt like they were drowning, they went straight to Jesus. Jesus was the disciples' safe place. Jesus was the calm in the midst of their storm. And then he actually brought calm into their storm and the wind and the waves stopped. Wow, that's fantastic. The next letter is A, which stands for application. How can I apply this to my life? How does this become more than just some interesting story, a fun new fact, but something real in my life? Good questions to ask are, how will my life be different because of what I've read? Or what is some sort of habit that I could instill or thing I could do today or this week because of what I've read? I always find it best to just find something very simple and practical to do. This one is so important because it's here that the Bible really does come to life. Cool. So my application today is life is a little bit nuts at the moment. There's so much change, so many emotions, so many questions. It feels like this big storm has rolled in and the seas of life are just swirling around. I mean, sometimes I feel good, like I'm living in the sunshine, the beauty and the opportunity of life, but other times I feel like I'm drowning. So Jesus, so just as the disciples go straight to Jesus and they cry out, help us, I'm reminded that Jesus is my safe place and I need to go to Jesus and cry out, help me when the waves are sweeping over my boat. Jesus offers me calm and peace, even in the middle of the storm. And I can live in that peace, even if the storm continues around me. Wow, very powerful. And that brings us to the last letter in this acronym, P, which stands for prayer. This is where you either say a prayer or write a prayer, thanking God for his word to you today, and then asking him to help you apply this to your life. My prayer is this. Jesus, you are my safe place, and today I cry out to you. I ask for your peace and calm to wash over me and my life, even in the midst of the storm. Help me to be your peace and calm to others today too. Amen. Amen. You see, soap is so good. It works in a group. It works by yourself. But it really does help the Bible come alive in your life. 
sure does. So to recap, SOAP, it stands for Scripture, Observation, Application and Prayer. So for all those families out there, you can do this with your kids and with your teenagers as well, before bed, at the dinner table, whenever suits you. So that is how to soak.